Hey, it's Stephen Gates with MyPLCTraining.com with another video to help you become a confident PLC programmer. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, an issue that I see uh, pretty frequently with some of our students, and that is when they're trying to go online with a PLC, pr particularly like a Logix Emulate PLC, because that's what we do a lot of our training with, rather than having uh, everyone have to have a physical PLC to connect to, this just allows them to have a PLC on their computer and, uh, you know, get a lot of that functionality, uh, almost the same functionality uh, without having the, the physical hardware. So the issue I see is when it's time to go online, they will go to here, click this button, and they'll either go online or they'll download. So, for example, download. And then they get this message, failed to go online with controller communications path needed. So um, I don't ever recommend that you, you go online with these buttons. Now, you can, um, and I'll show you when you can in a minute. But generally, the first thing you want to do is go to your communications tab here and then click Who Active. And then when you click Who Active, it brings up an RS Links type window, which came up over there for some reason. Um, and then from here, you can go to this backplane, which is the virtual backplane, and find the Logix Emulate emulator. And then you can, you know, go online, upload from that controller if there's a program on there that you want to read into your uh, Logix designer, or you can download your your project into the controller, which is what I'm going to do here. So let's go ahead and try to download. Okay, so now it gives me this pop-up. I go ahead and click download. It's starting the download. We can see that green bar moving, which is a good sign. Finalizing the download. And now we see Controller is okay. We're in remote program. If we want, we can go to run mode. Now, here's what's um, interesting to note is now we have something in the path here. Before, there was nothing in the path. So going online or downloading would go nowhere. Um, so what you can do is you can um, basically go and set project path. If you go to communications, you can say, okay, Every time I go online, I want this to be the path I'm taking, the communication path through the backplane, into the Logix Emulate, and into slot zero. You could set that. Now, um, you, you see there's no asterisk there anymore. And so if we were to go offline, and then we were to go back online, it would go directly back online. But again, it's better generally to just go to communications who active and actually see what you're connecting to because sometimes it's not obvious um, what you're connecting to in the path here. And I can tell you from experience, I have connected to the wrong PLC and took down a whole machine without realizing it because I downloaded a program to the wrong machine. So don't be like me. Um, go to communications, browse to it, make sure you're downloading or connecting to the right controller. Hope this was helpful. If you want more tips, if you want more help learning PLCs and automation or help advancing your career into controls and automation, check out myplctraining.com. See you next time.